Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Wish popping. What's going on in the life of an Aquarian for the month of August 2019? <laughs> Is this a very transformative period for you all? Y'all scared? Don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, hey, boo, uh, if this is your first time to my channel, I cuss. And I'm trying to get my shit together. <laughs> I should have did this off camera, but listen, it wasn't, it, it didn't look so crazy off camera. When I started recording, shit got to look different, all right? I'm Mocha. <laughs> also, if this is your first time to my channel, listen, you just heard me, I cuss. So, cussing don't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you, like right now, without cussing, okay? Um, thank you all uh, to the new subscribers. Welcome to the family, y'all. <laughs> We're a little dysfunctional, all right? We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. Oh, but we cuss. We love. We gather. We share. We grow. We evolve. Positive vibes only over here. We one big happy fucking family, all right? To the returning family, what's shopping, everybody? Who else feel like me? Throw the whole July away, huh? Because hmm? I do, I do, I do. Damn it. It was real, okay? Um, you guys, thank you all for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate it from the most humblest space, the readings, etc. Thank you so very much. As the energies are kind of getting past this point of super intensity, it's still a bit lit, but, you know, it's not as intense. I'm thankful. And I know that my Aquarius is all right as well. But you guys are needing to make a major decision, and we're going to talk about it, okay? So you guys, this is not going to resonate with each and every one of you all. Please feel free to um, watch your moon, your rising, your Venus, you know, etc. to try and get better clarity, all right? But take what resonates for now and leave the rest, okay? We're going to move on up in here. Go and get up in this damn juice and this sauce for my aqua babies. Some moon, rising, Venus, as well as um, the cross watchers for Aquarius, all right? <clears throat> Oh, and if you need a personal y'all, that information can be found within the description. I got a sale going on in the community tab. Go check that. All right? Let's get it. What I got intuitively for you all for the month of August is confusion, manipulator, codependency, narcissism, legalities, trust your gut. <laughs> Couldn't understand it. My own damn handwriting. Deception. Ancestors. Renewals. Solitude. Family matters. User. New love. Releasing. Healing old wounds. Triggers. Unexpected offers. Resistance. Past life cycles. Sudden wealth. Synchronicity. Acceptance. Awakening. Fear of letting go. All right, so y'all, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. All right. Overall energy around the reading, you guys, you guys got the five of hearts, okay? So this tells me, and then to clarify the five of hearts, Spirit told me to start leaving cards, um, like towards the bottom, pretty much kind of seeing what this five of hearts is about. You guys, I got the death card, okay? So for some of you all, you are going through transformative periods where spirit is possibly forcing the releasing of things, situations, places in your life, and you guys feel this sense or this this energy of I'm not ready, I'm not ready. And, you know, some of you all have been putting things off, you know, like tomorrow, you know, I deal with it tomorrow, I deal with it tomorrow, you know, but tomorrow never fucking comes. Then next week don't come. And then there's a sense of you guys being forced to balance things out in your world when it comes to your family structure, when it comes to how you get your money, when it comes to your creative endeavors, because a lot of you guys are uh, medicine women and medicine men. A lot of you all are fauna empaths. Many of you all are mediums. And others of you have a great responsibility as far as giving um, healing as far as, well, healing on a knowledge or wisdom type aspect um, of things or from that aspect of things into the universe. Many of you are teachers, okay? You're the great philosophers. You're the great, um, some of you are the great philanthrop uh, philanthropists, okay? So you guys, it's, it's this sense of limiting yourself. It's like, oh, ain't nobody been standing in your way but your damn self because some of you all are afraid of really reaching that, that capacity of success. It's like, you can smell it, you can taste it, you know that it's coming. Some of y'all feel that something big is coming. But some of you all, it's different. Some of y'all gonna have to release some shit and others of you gonna have to embrace some shit. Okay, after you already released some shit, some of y'all already did the great releasing between the month of um, May and now. 
And for those of you who've already done the great release and now, this is something that is going to come in and trigger you to trust yourself on getting past this aspect of yourself. Get it, being more optimistic instead of pessimistic. Don't wait for nobody. Don't assume that somebody coming in your damn life to hurt you. Everybody's not the bad guy, okay? Okay? So because of that, there's this need for you guys to really trust yourselves. There's also a, tr a need for you guys to really unlearn everything that it was that you have already been taught around your belief system because can't nobody teach you that shit but life itself and what it is that we're okay pretty much i'll say it like this with you trusting everybody else's belief system how is that working for you aqua babies shit how is it working for them motherfuckers who trying to project that upon you because you know we, we let, let, let's just get real and really look at the logic around things okay so, the angel message that you guys got, what's a brilliant idea? This comes from Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. It's something about actually having, like, you guys are, like, rich in resources, especially when it comes to the mental space. But there's this energy of not really trusting yourself or not moving on your ideas. It's like, the universe is like, yeah, Aquarius, we like that idea. Hell, we, we gave you that idea. It was actually divinely ordered. And so, yeah, we we understand, and we understand the shining star aspect that you bring to the damn idea, but are you going to move today, please, on it? Because we, we need you to get some, we need you to get moving. You can't just sit your ass on the curb and eat the ice cream, of course. You got your ass got to get moving, okay? So this is about movement, things actually moving, and actually the universe is already conspiring things and putting things into, into place for you, which is why some of the releases that you have to do, they undeniable. Motherfucker been lying, undeniable. It's going to fall on your left. You ain't got to go look for it because spirits say you got something to do. And this is just another aspect that's eating up your motherfucking focus that's keeping you in this space of feeling as if you stagnant, the uncomfortable, the uncomfortableness that you feel is your soul knowing that they got something to do and you sitting your ass down eating the damn curb, on eating the ice cream on the curb. Movement, okay? So, with this, some of you are also, some of you guys are artists. Some of you guys are painters. Some of you guys have brilliant ideas when it comes to nonprofit organizations and actually finding prof profitably prof profit in a nonprofit. You y'all are literal, literal earthly geniuses. You don't give yourself enough credit, which projects to other motherfuckers that they could just limit you and put you in this damn box because you ain't showed a motherfucker. You ain't really bossed up and healed your nuts. Was that y'all that I was talking to about whole your nuts? Aquarius, shout out to my favorite Aquarius. She know who she is. She don't like name dropping. Whole your nuts, Aquarius. People need you to sit your nuts on the table, okay? Hold your nuts. Even if you ain't got nuts, I'm metaphorically speaking. Boss up. Adjust your crown, queen. Because, see, the thing is, People have gotten so used to you limiting your own belief that it's making them uncomfortable that you think in a certain way, that you're not talking like them, that you're not thinking like them, that they can't make you think like them because you're actually looking at the logic of things during this time. What the fuck have, what, what the fuck have you done that I have not done? Besides talk some shit about what the fuck I have not done. But when I do it, what else you have to say? Then you want to hop on the bandwagon but low-key be a hater. Because you're going to go jump on. You're going to try and suck this game up and go try it. And it's not going to work for you because it's my path that I should have been on. But I was sitting still, sitting up, being the dagger, being the crush to you motherfuckers. Feeling as if I had to fight your battles. Now it's about me and mine and what we're building. And spirit supports that, Aquarius. It's time for you guys to move on your, onto your creative gestures. Others of you want to go to school for, somebody want to go to school for aquatic science. Somebody wants to do some type of underwater uh, underwater welding, okay? Which actually has to do with sculptures and things of that nature when you get into the creative gestures of things. Others of you are environmentalists. You actually want to do some type of planting, saving the plants and things of that nature. But people around you is calling you crazy and you believe them. You tell that devil they're a motherfucking lie, okay? Um, others of you, some of y'all have a connection with animals to actually train, heal, 
heal animals, heal the heal the wounded animals, okay? Especially when it comes to somebody has some somebody is tied to some type of ranch. Someone could have actually someone could be finding out that they're inherited in some type of ranch here in the month of August. And on that ranch you will find animals. You know why those animals are left there, honey? Because you've been running from your past. Spirit blessed you with that home that you've been waiting to receive. And it didn't come in a way that you tried to control it to come, but it also offered you some work as well as if you put in the work, it's gonna also pay off in a very financially abundant way and it'll also give your children a whole new lifestyle when it comes to looking at things and how to look at things different perceptions whoever i'm speaking to you could be coming from having to come from up north coming from up north to down south okay others of you this has to do with the fact that the reason why you're getting that damn ranch too uh sis bro is because you are a fun empath you have a connection to animals there are rebellious animals on that damn ranch that other people couldn't damn tame they just fed them but guess who gonna have to come? Guess who gonna come through and hold their nuts and let them animals know what time it is? The keepers of the animals, the keeper of the elders, the keeper of the children, the protector, the nurturer, as well as the teacher. Aquarius, you are standing at I am. That's what's popping in the month of August. Right? Let's get to this damn love life. But some of y'all could definitely dealing with the sign of Scorpio. I definitely feel like some y'all are feeling rejected. You're not taking that shit no more. And you walk the fuck away. And it has to do with self-worth and the ability to let go. Some of you guys had hurdles in your past life with releasing things that you know not necessarily didn't serve you, but just pretty much wasn't worth the effort that you were putting in because you were a shining star trying to hold on to some rocks on the ground. Message for somebody. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Aquarius in love for the month of August? What can they expect in love for the month of August? Yes. They will be releasing. Yeah, you guys are going to be moving. Some of you guys are going to be removing yourself from a toxic situation with a cancer. Some of you guys feel a deal. And I feel the energy of some of you guys are having a hard time walking away. Some of y'all feel bad about leaving somebody else out in the cold. You guys so used to being the karmic crush. You're not they mama, Aquarius. You're not they daddy, Aquarius. Especially if their parents are living, why the fuck can't their parents help them? Have you ever thought about that shit? They got family. Chances are, they family already know who the fuck they is. And for some of y'all, I'm hearing that this family done already told you who the hell you signing up for. But you chose to keep it moving, keep it trucking. I'm going to be the cherry and diving it. And you in this shit. Like, so it's like Soldier Boy. And now you feeling like I am attached to El Diablo. Spirit is saying the awakening comes when you learn to let go. And for some of you all who I'm speaking to having to let go of toxic, toxic, toxic relationship, the aspect of you both, of why how you and this person mirrors one another, this person is emotionally manipulative to you and make you emotionally manipulative to you and make you feel as if either you need to be in that union or as if what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who's very victimized. Okay, some of you guys. <clears throat> Some of you guys could be dealing with the sign of Cancer or Capricorn that's going through a major awakening during this time. And I feel that if there has to be a split, you guys, it'll only be temporary because this person is having to do some type of internal cleansing, okay? Others of you, your relationship is going to greater heights. You're moving away from arguments. If you've been arguing a lot in the month of July with your partner. You guys are moving away from that internal conflict, that energy of feeling as if you have to have, like that chaotic energy is lifting at this time. Someone definitely got to do some internal work when it comes to trusting themselves and the other person when it comes to abandoning issues, okay? <clears throat> some of you guys are internally conflicted about moving forward possibly with an Aries. Some of y'all have an opportunity to actually move out of the state. It's tied to your work. It has to do with the transfer or you will be hearing about this in the month of August and you're going to be afraid to take the leap of faith because you're going to be worried about, well, what about everybody else's problems? And what about they? What, what they going to do? And what about that's not your part. That's God's part. Get a piece of paper today, Aquarius, okay? I need y'all to write down one by one all of the tasks that you have to do that is within your power in order for you to actually get structure and have some type of order and actually manifest these things one by one around the balance on another sheet of paper that we're going to make around the family, okay? One by one. And in between both of those lists, we're going to put them together, draw an arrow, and create yet another piece of paper about how much love and and, and, and Love and honor and me time that Aquarius is going to have once we balance these things out for Aquarius. <laughs> because if you're not right, how are you going to get somebody else right? And if the person who you're dealing with is not assisting in getting you right, yet they're being a, 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 in addition to your headache, 
spirit finna help y'all both right on that. Because whether it was you or another person, well, what some of y'all gonna get get a get a whole get, get to looking at things from a whole different ball game. Because you're gonna look at it like, well, you was once not liking the ex girlfriend, and had a problem with somebody's ex girlfriend. Because I see there was a third party in the past where some of you, like, some of y'all was fighting about somebody's past. But what, what what you have in common with this person is that you got them on your titty, okay? Meaning that you you keep them real close to your heart, like you their mother, okay? And you're not their mother. This person has issues around their mother, I'm saying. This person has mother issues with their mother didn't give them that love. But they have to find that love internally within themselves. Or they will never see that 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 aspect or that substance. And not just you, but anybody. Because it's not there within the self. So how do you know it? Those of you who are dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you guys don't trust the situation because you're not done healing from a situation that you could have moved away from or that that's not wanting to move away from you. Because I see some of y'all is you have a situation that you want to move away from, but this situation don't want to move away from you because they have a fear of being by themselves. Somebody is also very codependent. For those of you, some of you guys have a cancer that really, really just really wants to be in your energy, okay? This person could also be going through some type of awakening just like yourself because you guys are very in this much, in, in much so in this awakening energy where you're having to reprogram your whole subconscious. Everything that you once knew about relationships, when you really look over your, your, ancestral, uh, your ancestral ties and your history as far as your ancestries, you'll begin to see where it is that you can actually shift these cycles. Some of you guys also may become very closer to your mother during this time, especially if there was some type of like... Not really um, hard feelings, but some type of like distance between you guys emotionally based on the nurturing that you didn't give. You find yourself giving this to your partners because you attract partners who got issues, the same issues with their mother, um, which kind of which can kind of create a sense of narcissism between you or your partners because both of y'all feel this energy of needing to like possess another person. And that's not love, baby. True love is not changing someone or trying to get somebody to move at the flow of your boat. It's a natural flow so that doesn't have to be forced. And even if you try to run from it, spirit just keeps dropping this person in your damn lap where you can't run from it. Either you're going to face your fears or you're going to run away. You're going to fight or flight. But it's about understanding that fear is not real. And it's the very things that we have to really face in order to remove those limits that we kind of place in, on ourselves as far as a mental capacity and how we perceive things. Because how we perceive things is based on pretty much how we accept or what we allow in our life is pretty much perceived on what we've been taught or what we've seen ourselves. And just because we've been taught it don't mean it's right. Just like they have laws that just because it's fucking legal don't mean it's right. It's just a law. But internally in your heart space, within your within within you trying to align yourself on your path, what feels right? You have to trust yourself because when you go against yourself, yourself turn yourself tell you later, ha ha, motherfucker, I did not tell you. I didn't told you. Okay. Others of you. If you're dealing with a fire sign, there could be a bit of arguments during this time with this person. Or this could also have to do with, yeah. Some of y'all could also actually be um, kind of in conflict with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, regarding finances. This could also be regarding, um, and it don't matter what sign I'm hearing with this particular issue that I'm going to say. This could also be someone's attachment to their child's mother or their child's father due to finances, okay? Some of y'all, this person already know that you're finna move away from this toxic shit. Some of y'all dealing with somebody very intuitive. This person already know that you're finna move away from this toxic shit, but this person is trying to use you because you just done, da 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 saved the damn day, but they trying to save their money on the damn, behind the damn scenes, or they're connecting with a child's mother or child's father as like a backup plan, plan on this person's want, this want, this, this person's want for commitment, or either your want for commitment and the fear of you moving forward so some of y'all finna be the tower in somebody's motherfucking life in the month of august because i definitely see you guys freeing yourself from a very deceptive energy okay this person could be a younger water sign um pisces cancer scorpio this person could also be a younger air sign gemini libra aquarius but you guys are freeing yourself and i feel as if you're not going to share your open your plans openly in order to do so some of y'all somebody just gonna come home and they gonna try and unlock the damn door and Aquarius is going to be the mood for some of y'all, others of you. Somebody's going to come there and they damn key ain't going to work no more. You're going to straight up tell them you don't live here, okay? 
I told you what I was getting ready to do. Some of you guys, uh, there is a re reconnection trying to, this reconciliation energy trying to happen with a water sign, y'all. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of y'all, it's because this person is out in the cold with someone who they have children with, okay? For others of you, this person has uh, this person has reconnected with someone from their past where they had a very toxic connection with, but it's a catalyst situation for you to be free where you couldn't when you feel like you couldn't free your damn self, okay? Others of you have a business opportunity or some type of opportunity having to do with collaboration. It could be tied to someone from your church, I'm hearing, or someone that that has some type of like spiritual practice. Some of you could be getting like like meta metaphysical practices, um, like um. I'm going to say it because Spirit is saying it. Some of y'all are beginning to spell work when it comes to love and like creating um, creating like herbal spells when it comes to like healing. Healing people are like potions or elixirs, okay? They go that damn medicine woman reference. Why is the devil here? Some of y'all dealing with the sign of Capricorn and some of you guys, this person, you feel as if this person is keeping their feelings. Some of y'all going to find out if you're dealing with a Capricorn, this person been hiding money. And it feels as if this person been hiding money and they've been watching you kind of struggle to keep Rob Peter and PayPal. They've been kind of giving little by little because they kind of indecisive on if they even want to keep um, giving to the relationship. Others of you, this person is coming in after you going through some type of awakening. And this person, whoever that Capricorn is, they don't have no ill will intentions. They could have actually recently left for cancer. Both of y'all could be leaving to sign the cancer. That's the kicker. If, you, if you're dealing with the Scorpio, I definitely feel that there's trust issues in that relationship. Someone doesn't really trust moving forward because they're holding on to hurt from the past. Um, especially if you, if, if that person or you have already dealt with it. It's something about somebody previously dealing with that sign and our hell broke loose previously. So they scared like, oh no, I don't want no more ties. I'm washing my hands with you motherfuckers. Like, that type of aspect. Some of you guys, others of you are freeing yourselves from these obsessive thoughts regarding an Aries and you're inviting new love in during this time. You're just like, fuck it. If you want to be uh, in your head, if you want to be confused, fine. Stand way the fuck over there with that confused energy and watch me do it. Okay? I definitely see Aquarius bossing up though during this time. Money looks good for the month of August. Some of you guys, if you have to recently leave a toxic work situation and you just left the ass, some of y'all is not going to tell these people you're going to leave. you just going to up and leave um, because you have a new job offer that's going to be coming. For some of y'all, it have to do with the third week of August, so we'll be talking about that possibly within the mid months. But I do see you guys get another opportunity that could involve children. For some of y'all, this have to do with health care. And for others of you, this have to do with some type of pharmaceuticals. Devil card. Yeah. Some of you guys, <laughs> some of you guys are, some of you guys are afraid to move forward in a situation that you're very passionate about. And it has to do with this fear of either someone coming in to use you or manipulate you in some kind of way based on what the last person did. Y'all are still really needed to heal and really write your thoughts out. And when you write your problems on that sheet of paper, when you order your steps, I'd say, on that sheet of paper and you kind of break your task down, the things that are beyond your control, if it's not enough money right now, because we not we don't speak the B word, okay? If it's not enough money right now, we're not, we're not even going to worry about what we ain't got enough for. We're going to worry about the aspects of what we can do. The rest of it, next to that task, I want you to write God's job, okay? Get some of them burdens off your back, baby. They ain't yours to carry. Why is the chariot here? Yes, okay. Internal conflict. Yeah, somebody is resisting. Somebody's resisting a reunion. Some of y'all could be dealing with a cancer. Some of y'all could be resisting a union. I don't want to move forward with you because you're sneaky. I don't trust you. And I know that trust is a major aspect in any type of relationship. If I don't trust you, we can't rock, okay? So I definitely feel like some of y'all could be having this energy going on with a cancer or a fire sign. And there is love that this person is a soulmate to you guys. Why is the Seven of Swords here with the Ace of Swords? Truth and clarity is going to be coming out regarding somebody, what they've been doing behind the surface, okay? And the fact that I got the wild card to verify the Ace of Swords and the uh, Seven of Swords, some of you guys are going to be moving away from somebody, and somebody has literally been trying to, somebody been trying to manipulate, like someone's been telling the truth, but they're omitting things. It's like they're trying to manipulate movement behind the scenes. 
And I feel like that manipulation of movement has to do with like tying things to you. Like somebody want to. And we ought to, you ought to get on my plan when it comes to the cell phone. You ought to do, like somebody's trying to underneath the surface tie you to them in every kind of way where you have this fear of lacking something or losing something with releasing them. And that's not the case. It's an illusion, baby. Death card. Why is the death card here? Hmm. For some of you all, this has to do with actually speaking your truth, moving forward, and there's an internal conflict about it, but the thing is, you can go to sleep and you're going to still wake up and feel that same shit. The fact that some of y'all may be seeing 555-99-777, five, 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 nine, nine, seven, seven, seven. 7 has to do with the mystery of things, 12, 12 has to do with wondrous things, 9 has to do with the step before completions, okay, because 10 has to do with completely any fucking things. So ultimately, some of you guys are in your head about moving forward in a commitment, some of y'all feel as if you can't trust this person. Like, what the hell are they hiding? Some of y'all dealing with somebody, you have a great relationship with this person. It's not the fact that they hide. Okay. It's not the fact that they hiding something. This person has an issue with sharing. And that's what they keep it to themselves. Like, so if you start asking them stuff like, um, we should do this. Or, like, dropping money on shit. This person may become hesitant. And they have an issue with sharing because they've had someone do them bad. Like, take from them in the past. Or do something that was just really... Outrageous for some for some y'all I'm hearing it was a mother figure. <clears throat> Why's the food card here? For those of you who have an opportunity to move, sis go. <laughs> sis leave. Just go. There's a better opportunity waiting. You're getting ready to have a whole new start. And you're gonna be great independently. You're gonna be looking damn good, flourishing, okay? Some of you all may find yourself gardening a whole lot. It looks to be very serene to you. And others of you, there's a lot of downloads that you're going to be receiving in this place of gardening, in this place of, I'm hearing sacred space, whatever it is. A lot of you guys are going to be um, sealing something as your sacred space. So some of y'all, this may be your car. Some of y'all, this may be your garage. Others of you, this may be a closet space. Um, your ancestors are really trying to connect with y'all, Mary. Yeah. And for some of you guys, some of y'all, you got a, fire, um, a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, or Earth sign. Capricorn towards Virgo. This could even be a fire sign that is trying to be a blockage to your independence, baby. This person want to stand in the way. It's like they don't want you to progress or succeed without them. And you got to oh, on the table, okay? Oh, you nuts. Yeah. Others of you are feeling left out. And some of y'all are feeling as if you're going to experience some type of financial struggle. Some of you guys are also feeling rejected possibly by a Capricorn towards Virgo. This person could be attached to someone else. And some of y'all, this could have to do with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is kind of internally conflicted about their own attachment to somebody else that's going to shit. And so they kind of making you wait. But the only person making you wait is you because you could tell that motherfucker, fuck them, two tears in the bucket, fuck it. Because you standing in the way of your own blessing. As soon as you leave, you go from the nine of pentacles to the queen of pentacles on the money aspect. It's that motherfucker because you don't know their you don't know their heart, okay? And they're saying, mm -hmm. when you get real with yourself and stop telling yourself this shit or what you can't do, or for that matter, deceiving your damn self, you can have whatever you like, okay? This is a warfare between the mind and the heart. And I feel that some of you guys are really keeping it to yourself. You're not even talking about it. You're suffering in silence. But the outcome of all of this is a ten of cups. Some of y'all just have to do a reconciling a family situation, but there's some type of resistance because somebody when if somebody needs clarity of what what occurred in the past and why things didn't go the way that they're supposed to. But I definitely see that clarity is gonna be coming. And it has to do with a third party situation. Somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side. But I definitely feel that going forward and so, and some of y'all gonna be moving away from somebody because you find out that they're dealing with somebody who they got a family with. They they low key trying to reconcile. And this person ain't told, they ain't gave you the reminder yet, Aquarius, okay? Well, this could be your ass. But I definitely see reconciliation in a family situation. Some of y'all just have to do with you, you victoriously moving past your twin flame and choosing to reconcile with someone from your past. And it's okay to trust it because this person has undergone some type of awakening. And for some of y'all, just have to do with keep your options open and flourish. And it's also have to do with your creative endeavors. Don't limit yourself. There are many different ways to look at things. There are many different options available as far as paths to go to get to the path that you're trying to get to. Don't just stand in one damn box. 
think outside the box. Be don't be afraid to open up and collaborate with other people because I do see whatever it is that you've been working on, baby, you end up with the Queen of Pentacles. But it's after you didn't cut some shit, some individuals out your damn world and stood up for yourself about what it is that you will and will not accept the motherfucker to do in the world of my aqua baby. Period. Okay, with the T at the end, like a city girl. Okay, it's a hot girl summer. So with that said, you guys. I pray that this resonates with you all for the month of August. I love you very, very, very much. I will catch you back mid-month. And peace, love, and light. And I'm going to say bye, babies. Oh, and if you need a person, y'all, remember, catch that community tab. Also, follow me on Instagram. It, uh, I said when I get a certain amount of followers, then I'm going to start doing weekly readings over there. I'm going to try to do them on Sunday and Monday. And I'm going to do them in elements, y'all. But, you know, sometimes I feel good and bust it down a time by sign, and sometimes I don't. Just depending on what the hell I, what my busy looking like, all right? So I love y'all. I pray that this reaches you well. And I'll see y'all again later on in the month. Deuces, baby.